How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's fine. I just wanted to put this out because I'm not going to be on the internet much today and I had something on my mind. And since I've gotten older, the my mind doesn't work as well. My filters in my brain are slowly dissolving. So I tend to forget stuff that I want to say. So I'm going to go ahead and say it and be done with it. If you look at the UN Charter for 2030, folks, you can go look at it. They're not going to tell you right out. It's all about everybody's going to have food, everybody's going to have a job, we're going to have peace in our time in 2030, and they're basically going to control everything. <laughs> and they want prosperity and peace. And they know with 193 countries, they're not going to be able to reach that goal. They also want you driving little bitty cars with little bitty batteries. <laughs> the UN wants to control you folks. And they're working behind the scenes, and it's been going on. It's a dream of the liberals for 80 years of having a one-party system. Obama talked about it. Hillary talked about it. But it's been going on way before then. The only way they can achieve this goal in 2030 is eliminate 193 countries. And I've been told by a guy, I saw on video a year and a half ago, and I can't find the video. I don't even know if he's still around. He used to work at the U.N. And he said their plan is to eliminate 193 countries and make 10 large countries, land masses. So they're easier to control. You can get rid of your poor easier. And you can educate people easier. You can control them easier when you don't have 193 countries bickering at each other. And they realize the only way they can do that or even get this plan off the ground is to break the back of the American dollar and the American people. That's right. The ten masses, I'm not going to give them all, but as I remember, he said one large mass was going to be Canada, USA, and Mexico. Maybe a reason they're letting them flood our country with Mexicans. So we're so integrated that uh, we end up killing each other, but they think we're going to have peace. And then the second land mass will be the continent of South America. The other land mass, number three, will be Africa, and then Europe, and southern Mediterranean, and maybe over to Turkey. Then you have Russia and all their Muslim states in the south. Then you're going to end up with China and Asia and however they break that up. They feel like they can deal with the, the world better if they only have to deal with three major objectives, countries. This is all planned, folks. You can believe it or not. All this didn't happen in two years just for the hell of it. It wasn't by accident. There are reasons they are doing this. There are reasons they are letting this happen. They could stop this overnight at our border, but they refused to do it. And I'm telling you the reason why they're refusing to do it. But you remember seven years of tribulation? Well, what's seven years from now? 2030. And that's when their big agenda come, comes on board. Their big plans for the next 25 years. And they can't do it unless they hurt us. Break us down so bad that we will accept just about anything. Think about it, folks. They're letting all these wars and all this stuff. Joe Biden's sending them more money, folks. We're going broke. He's breaking us financially. We're going to be a basket case in a year or two unless we can get things changed. You can believe it or not, but the U.N. no way can get that 2030 agenda dealing with 193 countries. Use your brains, folks. Go read it. And I'm sure people are going to say, well, why would they want to do this? Why would they want to kill off a bunch of us and, and all this, uh, kill their customers, as people say? Because half the world is a basket case. They're takers, not givers. They don't need you. They don't need half of you. When the AIs come on board and start working in the factories, they're not going to need all you. They don't want to feed all you people. That's why. The rich will be fine. We'll still have people making toys and stuff like that. But we can take the population from 8 billion down to about 4 and 5 and make them all happy, folks, and still have plenty of customers. Because half the world is nothing 
They don't produce anything. They don't need them. And when the AIs come on board, they're going to need a lot less of us. It doesn't matter about the customer. They're willing to suffer for a while until they can get their agenda on, on, on board. They're not going to need us all, folks. They don't want us all. Too many basket cases running around, taking from the system instead of giving to the system. You get it? Bye.